this one clearly i get these all from lab bible so they also have britishisms <laughs> but this one clearly to grab people's attention i just it grabbed my attention so i just had to talk about it okay uh, no nut december is finally over and now men are embracing destroy dick december <laughs> I, I, that's pretty much the whole article right there i'm sure but yeah i actually see. saw that article but like i was like there doesn't seem to be much to this more than the good headline <laughs> yeah yeah uh, here we go. Oh, starts with blokes around the world are celebrating the end of No Nut November. Uh, the annual event sees men abstain from pleasuring themselves until completion for the whole month as a test of willpower. Uh, same also chose, oh, some also chose to avoid watching pornography, but the main aim is to avoid the act of masturbation during November. However, it is now officially December 1st. It's obviously way past then. And they can finally rip in. Uh, they flooded the No Nut November Reddit page with cheers and celebration. One member said, congratulations, we can be proud of this achievement. Another, I, I just woke up from my nap and I just ended two hours, and it just ended two hours ago for me. Fourth claim this year, fourth claim this year. Uh, I'm proud of you, comrade. Now go blow the biggest nut till we meet again next year. Peace. Some people who do No Nut November believe holding off from ejaculation for a whole month can produce mental clarity and increased self uh sense of self-confidence did you do no nut november i gotta ask you it's really personal but <laughs> no I, abide by this? no i've never done that and, and to be honest from a purely scientific perspective i don't even think it's that healthy well i don't know may, maybe there could be something said for like you know watching less porn or whatever but i think yeah. i think medical people actually say like there's a health benefit to masturbation it, like it's not good for your prostate to like to never ejaculate or something like that yeah I, I think porn is super unhealthy man like you know i mean you know do what you do in the bedroom that's fine but i mean even porn stars say like they don't do that in real life right you know that's just for the cameras and uh you know the addiction it can it can really mess people up i've seen you know obviously it's just like any other addiction right um i also think that uh the clarity that somebody would get from not masturbating that, that would be the opposite for me. If I, if I didn't masturbate for a whole month, I'd be like, oh my gosh, did you see that ankle? You know? I know. That, that, that's <laughs> the thing. Some serious knee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd really just be thinking of nothing else. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Um, while it might be different for some participants, Dr. Raina Mullick uh, explained that the benefits of not nutting could help boost your fertility uh, when, you have, when you finally do have sex. That makes sense. But overall, there wasn't much of a reason to do it, especially not for 30 days. Okay. Uh, she explained that while there aren't any huge health benefits or problems caused by participating No Nut November, it doesn't really help much either, uh, either as, as you'll miss out on the benefits of masturbation. She said there's a number of benefits to masturbation, including better sleep, decreased heart rate, decreased stress, and a lot of increase in good feel-good feel hormones. People can get a lot of pain and discomfort in the pelvic floor of their testicles. Um, as for feelings of improved mental health and increased self-confidence, there may actually be some truth there. Okay. The self-discipline required to make it to 30 days without orgasming pr proves to participants that they can set a goal and achieve it. Well, that's pretty much anything, right? Uh, now that no, Nove no not November is officially over, blokes are gearing up for one hell of a December. And we're not talking about festive season. Uh, some people will like to balance out No Nut November with Destroy Dick December and make up for some lost time. There's no set rules when it comes to this additional challenge, but blokes are given free reign to nut as much as they like. If you didn't know it was a British article, they definitely made sure you knew it was. <laughs> blokes, man, Jesus Christ. The thing is, though, even with people who participate in No Nut November, let's be honest then, every other month is Break Dick December. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like you're probably recovering from October just for no, 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 no. Like they're probably like cameling it up, you know, like saving all their like, like using up all their their stuff the month before, so they don't have anything left for November. That's true. You know, um, uh, people who participate at like Halloween night, they're just going to town on themselves. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and this is for single people for sure right because if you're like in a marriage if you're married or you have a girlfriend who's gonna abide by no nut november come on like is she gonna be okay with that 
I don't know. There's probably some wives that are like, you know, you really should participate in No Nut. No. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's any women that do? You think there's any women that do No Nut November? I think it's so much easier for women to do that. Oh, it man. is. It is. Care. Yeah. I do like, like though on that famous a disadvantage. Huh? I do like on the uh, Master of Your Domain episode of Seinfeld that you know Elaine was like <laughs> one of the first people to like. Oh, lose the that, that was insane! No way. <laughs> I know, but it's funny. It's funny. 